Hi honeybees! Today I'm going to be doing a VIB sale haul. Um, I did some online shopping. I did do a little bit in store. I'm going to show you both. I'm going to start with the in store bag. Okay, let's first start off with one item that I got right before the VIB sale, but I wanted to talk about it because it was on sale. Soap and Glory is now going out of Sephora stores. I know, it's kind of sad. Um, and this was something I really, really wanted. I got it for $15. I think it was like, I want to say about 20, 25% off. It might have been more. This is the Face Soap and Clarity Vitamin C Facial Wash. Heard great things about this, especially from Natalie from Flower Bomb 31. If you guys don't follow her, I'll link her channel below. She's awesome and a big enabler. Um, this smells, I mean that in a good way. <laughs> this smells, it's like weird. It has a kind of like a, a very clean scent. I would just say that it's a very fresh and clean scent. And this is 3-in-1 Daily Detox Smooths cleanses and purifies. So she raves about it. I can't wait to try it. And it's this really beautiful mint coloring with pink beads inside. And the rest of my goodies were ordered offline. Um, it got to me pretty quickly. Um, I was expecting it to be not the best since they had some hiccups the last VIB sale, but I say this time it gets a thumbs up for me. Um, the next skincare kind of item I purchased was the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. It's silicone free, alcohol free, and oil free. The alcohol free part is what really kind of grabbed my attention the most about this product because it won't dry out your skin, won't cause premature aging, alcohol in products does that and initially I was like it's just another setting priming kind of spray I didn't think it was anything magical when I tried it on clients working at Sephora but then everyone started raving about it on YouTube I'm like okay I gotta try this on my own skin and see how I like it so I will definitely let you guys know my honest review on this once I've tried it for a few you know weeks or so um and maybe I'll end up thinking it's absolutely magical as well. Or maybe I'll think it's just a dang water. <laughs> so we'll see. The one and only lip product I purchased on this sale is the Clinique Pop Lip Color Plus Primer. Rouge Intense Plus Base. That's seriously the name. Um, and this is the Clinique Pop Lipstick in shade number one, Nude Pop. Isn't it so pretty? Oh my gosh. These are very comfortable, very like moisturizing feeling. I feel like they're pretty comparable to the Revlon Lip Butters though in my opinion. I don't know if I would get a bunch more of these, but I do love the packaging. Like look how cute this is. It's really tiny and square, has the color on the bottom here with silver mirrored packaging on the top. I think that's really cute. And you know, it's just a beautiful, beautiful, very wearable nude. It's kind of that mauve pinky nude that, you know, I'm absolutely in love with. So this is definitely a shade that's very me, and I do really enjoy it. I've only worn it for a day or two, I'd say about two days, because I tried it on right when I got it, and then I wore it a little bit today. And I think the wear time is not great, but I mean, it's a moisturizing balm kind of textured lipstick, so I don't expect it to be long wearing, but I really like the formula. It's very comfortable. Very nice. This little baby right here deserves a moment of silence. So maybe I should actually tell you what the product is. It's from Becca and it's their Shimmering Skin Perfector in Brushed Copper. This is a limited edition. So if you want it, I'll link it down below and go grab it. Because it's pretty. Okay, so it has their signature kind of packaging where they have that little knob. I don't know what you would call that. It's really glaring heavily, so I hope you can see that. And then the rest of the packaging is a mirrored coppery rose gold. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. And wait till you see this. It has a beautiful mirror. And then look at this, baby. Oh. Look at that beautiful pattern. And it's so glowy and gorgeous. So no, I won't be using this as a highlight really, even though I believe it is marketed as such. It's called a, a Shimmering Skin Perfector, which is Becca's version of a highlighter. It's definitely too dark for me to wear as a highlight, but I didn't plan on using it that way. Oh my lord. It's so pigmented. This would be a gorgeous eyeshadow and a really beautiful over the top of blush, kind of like a blush topper or something that I'm just going to use as a blush. It's 
I think this would be an absolutely stunning eyeshadow or a blush topper or a blush on its own even. I think I'm going to be very light-handed with it, but it's going to be stunning for summer. And it's just so pretty to look at. I couldn't help myself. Okay, another very talked about product lately is the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzers. There are two different shades. I ended up getting the Luminous Bronze Light, which is the lighter of the two shades. Um, this is infused, just like their blushes, with their ambient powders and a bronzer instead of a blush like their ambient blushes are. Um, has the same packaging as their ambient powders um, and same size as their ambient powders. So you get, let's see how many ounces you get here. You get 0.39 ounces. This is what it looks like. I got lucky. I got some pretty good... Like, there's a good balance of the ambient powder and the bronzer in mine, I feel like. It's not too light or too dark. Does that make sense? I hope it does. But I don't know if it's really giving it justice to see it in the pan. I have it on my cheeks right now. It's really, I think it's really pretty. However, it is much of a warmer toned bronzer. So if you're thinking you're gonna contour with this, I definitely wouldn't. I think this is more of like a really pretty all over bronze or I did put it in like a contour area but kind of on top of where I normally would contour and not as strong to just give me a little bit more definition. I pretty much use it as my blush today because it's so warm, but I really love the finish of it and how kind of much of a glow it gives on the skin. So I think I am going to keep it. I was debating on getting this just because I've seen mixed reviews and I trust those mixed reviews from other YouTubers, but I think I am going to enjoy this. I think I am going to keep it. What do you guys think? I'm going to swatch it. What do you guys think of it on my skin? I will go ahead and swatch it for you guys. Although I don't really know if it's going to give it much justice, but it is right here. But I hope you can see that it does have a really pretty finish to it. And that's what I really love about the ambient powders and the ambient blushes. It just airbrushes your skin. Oh, I love Hourglass so much. And the last few makeup products I have are all from NARS. The first is a repurchase. This is actually my third time repurchasing this. I love the love this. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla. Uh, it's definitely a, a shade or two lighter than I naturally am, but I like to use this in a V under my eyes and more as a highlight and full coverage concealer. Love this baby. And it lasts me a long time, like months and months, and you can take the stopper out of this and get like another month of use out of it. So. The next product is something I've been lusting after for a month or so now. It's the NARS Dual Intensity Blush in the color Frenzy. This, when these blushes first came out, I was still working at Sephora and I used this blush on almost every single client because it was just one of those blushes that looked so good on a lot of different skin tones and everyone just like instantly fell in love with it, as did I. Um, really nice, sleek little square packaging here. And this is what it looks like. Do you see that insane glow? I will do a little bit of a close-up for you guys too and do a close-up swatch. Um, but it's just a really, really beautiful coral. And then these are both supposed to be blushes, but for me, this would be more of like a blush topper or a highlight. It's a beautiful golden-y highlight kind of shade. The last product I picked up is this NARS Dual Intensity Eyeshadow. Another one that's been on my wish list for a long time, it's in Callisto. I have one other of these um, dual intensity eyeshadows in Himalaya, and that's more of like a rose gold bronzy color. I cannot get this out for the life of me, there we go. And Callisto is more of a silvery, purpley kind of shade. You can see the dimension there a little bit better. I will also do a close up with this and a swatch, but it is Stunning, and I will definitely show me wearing this in future vlogs, maybe in a tutorial if you guys really want it. I love the pattern in these too. It's so beautiful, and the dual intensity blushes have that same pattern. Um, yeah, I really, really like these. 
And lastly, I did get a 100 point perk online. This is one of my holy grail eye makeup removers and since I will be going to Generation Beauty, I don't think I've announced that anywhere. I am going to Generation Beauty and so I thought this would be a great little travel eye makeup remover. Love it, it's the by Facil. I will have everything linked down below for you guys, everything that I showed on this video as well as the two people I mentioned. Please also follow me on social media. I'm always on Instagram and Twitter, and I do have a Facebook page as well. I love you guys so much. I really hope you enjoyed this haul. I know I promised to do a little bit less shopping this year. This month I've been a little naughty, so I definitely plan on doing some decluttering videos very soon so that I can give a little balance to to what I promised for the year. I did say I was gonna try to be a little bit better about buying makeup, but I'm a YouTuber and I just love sharing new products with you guys and I love trying it out and reviewing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.